understand. Stop looking at me like that and actually help me. Help me, help me, I'm gonna die. Tiny Rick! Yeah. 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 This guy's amazing! I love Tiny Rick! Hello, friends. Has it already been four months? Even though in my last video I said it only take two months. Anyways, the day has finally come. The most requested character since the very beginning of this channel, I present to you my 3D printed Tiny Rick. Right off the bat, I wanted to talk about the design that I went with. The original Tiny Rick is pretty much the same drawing as Grown Up Rick, but with shorter arms and legs. I thought that design was a little boring, and I wanted to do something more original and stylized. Eventually, I came up with this character sheet outlining all the different features that I wanted to incorporate into my model. Starting off with the body, I wanted to focus on one theme, to give him a short, squat look. By making him short, but still giving his arms and legs a certain amount of thickness, creates the sense that even though he's tiny, he still looks more like an adult rather than a child. This is actually a very common tactic in the medieval fantasy genre when they designed dwarves. For the clothing, I sculpted the details right onto his body. Since we're going to eventually animate and 3D print this model, I wanted to keep things nice and simple instead of making the jacket super detailed as it might cause us problems later on. The shoes and hands were pretty simple. Just build up the mesh with basic blobs, trim it down, and smooth it out. The idea was to keep them short and stubby to match the overall feel of the character. Always try to think what kind of theme you're going with and try to reinforce it as often as you can, which is key to good character design. Wrinkles on clothing are always easy to do. All you have to do is make quick slashes into the sculpt and then gently smooth it out. Adding a lot of wrinkles on a shirt also gives the sense that he's got a bit of a chubby gut. Again, reinforcing that short, stubby look. Making the head is dead simple. First, start off with the face of a grotesque human-snowman hybrid based on the obscure 1990 video game Snow Brothers. Then, take that disgusting head, pull a tumor out of it in the general shape of Gerald from Hey Arnold, and then finally give it the Dragon Ball Z Vegeta treatment. And that should all boil down into a perfect tiny Rick head. So, when I sculpted the general shape of the hair, I made it symmetrical on both sides to save on time. But now for the fine details, we want to make each spike unique. We also want to add a little mass to reinforce that overall chubby theme that we're going for. And adding some streaks to the spikes also gives it that hairy look. Finally, we top it off with the classic butthole looking pupils Rick and Morty is famous for. Which, I always wondered why they were drawn like that, and finally took the time during the making of this video to find out. It's on purpose. It, it, it's a holdover from the original, original uh, uh, short that I did for Channel 101, where they were just sloppily drawn, and I was like, these are better than the shitty f try hard drawings I did of the character, so I'm just gonna use these shitty drawings. <laughs> And so that was one thing that I was like, you know what, I'm gonna keep the scribbly pupils and I don't give a f Now, the key to painting is to first do a couple hours of work, then have ZBrush crash on you, only to give you a sadistic glimmer of hope by saying, oh, maybe I didn't crash, maybe I'm just thinking real hard. So you pray and pray, hoping you didn't lose everything, only for it to finally kick you in the nuts and while you're on the ground, snort up something deep in the back of its throat and spit an error into your mouth. So then you say, fuck you ZBrush, I'm going to paint this in Mari instead. So to get the colors right, the easiest way is to grab an image of the character and use the eyedropper tool. Then just paint some darker colors to simulate the shading, especially areas around the eyes, under the jacket, or in between wrinkles. Finally, we pose the character using the mask tools in ZBrush and we're ready for rendering and printing. Yeah, I got bored, and I thought, hey, why are you such a grumpy douche, Rick? Go to the garage, transfer your mind into a younger clone of yourself, and get embroiled in some youthful hijinks. What's the BFD? So here I am. I'm Tiny Rick! God, that's better. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. 
What? Hello? Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your service. Ooh, real scared. Real get on alert. High alert over here. Target acquired. to be back. Name's Bill Cipher. <laughs> I control space, matter, time itself. <laughs> Do you have any idea what I'm like? When I'm mad? Ooh la la, someone's gonna get late in college. Thank you. 
<sighs> Wait a minute, what? Huh, wow. Yes, I did it! In your face! <sighs> hey guys, so here's the final print. I'm pretty happy on how Tiny Rick turned out. The details and the coloring showed up really well. But given how popular the request was, I wanted to do something a little extra for this video and include a couple more bonus prints. These were all based on the comments I received. So we've got Tiny Rick with his portal gun, Rick's spaceship, and... On my workbench, Morty. Flip the pickle over. Come on, flip the pickle, Morty. You're not gonna regret it. The payoff is huge. Boom! Big reveal. I'm a pickle. What do you think about that? I turned myself into a pickle! I'm Pickle Rick! As always, if you want your own copy, all these files are free to download from my website in the description below. And I just wanted to mention my Patreon that I started. Don't worry, it's none of that pay one dollars and you get my love and a virtual hug bullshit. This is a Ron Swanson life lesson for you kids out there. When you give someone money, you should get something back. So for your support, even at the lowest level, I've put up all my original files for these models. So if you're handy with modeling software, you can customize or modify anything you want. And if you're not handy with modeling software or want to learn more, I've also put up full in-depth video tutorials with commentary on how I made Tiny Rick. Or if you just like my videos and feel like throwing me a tip, you can go to patreon.com slash 3dprintguy. Finally, I want to take some time to thank everyone for all their support. I'm nearing 100,000 subscribers soon, and it wouldn't be possible if it weren't for every single one of you. You guys are truly the best, and as always, thanks for watching, and leave me a comment on what I should make next.